Top Arsenal football player Mesut Ozil has spoken out against the Chinese oppression of the Muslim Uyghurs on his Instagram page. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> now here is what Ozil posted quite courageously I thought. Oh East Turkestan, the bleeding wound of the Ummah, the community of fighters who resist the persecution, the glorious believers who are fighting alone against those who try to forcibly take them away from Islam. Qur'ans are burnt, mosques are closed, madrasas are banned, religious scholars are killed one by one. The brothers are forced into the camps, Chinese men are settled in their families instead of them, the sisters are forced to marry Chinese men. Despite all this, the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad is silent, doesn't object or say anything. Muslims are not supported. Don't they know that consenting to persecution is persecution? How nicely Hazrat Ali said, if you cannot prevent persecution, make it known publicly. While these events have been on the agenda even in the Western media and states for months and weeks, where are the Muslim countries and their media? Don't they know that staying neutral when persecution is carried out is despicable? Don't they know that what our brothers and sisters will remember about these sad tough days years later is not the torture of the tyrants but the silent us, their Muslim brothers? Oh Allah, help our brothers and sisters in East Turkestan. Undoubtedly Allah is the best of planets. Now that was very daring of somebody in his position to do. Of course his team would be celebrating, promoting and supporting such an individual. I mean he did speak out against oppression of minorities, terrorism, whatever you want to call it. Yes! Well not quite. Arsenal seems to have distanced themselves from Mesut. Really? This may be because a short while back something very similar happened in the NBA. Someone spoke out against the riots going on in China and then they lost out financially. So Arsenal did not want to make that same mistake mate. What? Ironically however, they got penalized anyway. <laughs> China cancelled the live coverage of Arsenal versus Manchester City. Why would they punish two teams and 1.3 billion of their own population? I hear you ask. Think of China like the Mafia. If you fail to repay them for whatever reason, when you finally do so, they'll break your legs anyway. You know, to send a message. It's not about money, it's about sending a message. Mostly to the other people in case they dare to also speak out. But of course they're not gonna speak like this in public yeah. They said something like their fans were disappointed with Ozil's comments. Get out of here man! Really? Were they also disappointed when they heard about the concentration camps? No? Were they disappointed to know about the forced marriages, burning of the Qur'ans, shutting down of the mosques? Still no? Well if these soulless reptiles don't get affected with such things, I couldn't care less if they're disappointed mate. And another thing that came to my mind was, a lot of us follow such football teams pretty much religiously mate. But when it comes time for them to return the favour, they stab us in the back. For a bit of dosh. Some people may say, Hey man, at the end of the day, they're just a business. Yeah, fair enough. But at least protect your own investment, at least protect your own player. It's not like he did something terrible. Plus Arsenal seems to be sending out a message that yo, if you speak out against tyranny, that is not okay. We're gonna side with the tyrants, even if they're gonna punish us anyway. You're sick! Well, I can see why they call themselves Arsenal now. 
considering they speak out their ass and they make nil sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.